Okay, we're back today. It's a nice day out, real nice day. Came a little bit earlier, so we have some more time. The water, I looked at the uh, website for the locks and the graph shows that it was down and still dropping. And yes, it looks a lot lower than yesterday, so we're not even gonna mess with this stuff here. It's pretty much been all picked over. You can see how high the water was right there. Where it smoothed that out. Somebody's been down here. Ate an apple right there. But we're going to go on back over here where we were a couple days ago. And if we're not getting any luck there, we do have this area we were at yesterday and we can get down a little lower. But we're not really going to mess with that right now. We're going to go over here. Uh, our construction site down there that we were, we had high hopes for. Well, now they're building stuff down on the water level. They got a big barge pulled in there. So that's probably ruined that. Here's where we're going to be today, where we got those two points around this log. Maybe start here on the other side of it, or even walk down the beach. I might just walk down through there and look for a good site. But we'll shovel here a little bit first. Hopefully, we come up with something. There's this big cut stone in here. It's got to be holding stuff out, washing around the side. Right there's a piece of campfire stone that's usually what i'll do i'll walk down the beach until i see some campfire stones right here's a piece you know and there's a piece right there in the water and where you see the most of those coming out that's where i start sifting because that's where most of the concentrated stuff has channeled its way down through here there's a huge campfire stone right there But we'll start right here. We'll see what we come up with. And I think the water is dropping. Still, it showed on the graph. It was taking a big drop. And uh, we'll see what we come up with. And I'll get back with you. See, this is what I was telling you. I had high hopes for this, where they shoved that dirt over the side of the bank there. But now they got a wall built all around it. And this big barge pulled in here. So that kind of ruins that. They're making, I think, uh, a pump to take water out of the river. They already got the pipeline up over the hill, probably shipping it to the uh, all the wells for fracking. Yeah, that kind of took care of that. So I guess it's back up to the other place. Okay, here's another rubbed hematite stone. It's not a very good one. It's just rubbed flat on both sides. I can see the abrasion marks in it. We'll keep it for the collection. I mean, it's nothing great, but you can see that red coming off on my hands. Getting a few flakes in each screen. Not as much as usual, but if there's a point right here, we're going to find it. Okay, we're back. This is the same screen as the uh, little rubbed hematite stone. And I got one in here. It's broken. I just sifted it down. You got to look through this stuff really well because you'll miss things. I had a point a few weeks ago, you'll see on my video, that was, you know, the size of a penny. It was that small, a triangle. But we got one in here. And it's broken. It's got base tips busted off and the uh, base got a snap on it but we're on to stuff so I guess the amount of flakes you find doesn't mean you're gonna you know doesn't have anything to do with the points you find right there it is you can see it's busted off the bottom bottoms are shattered right there you can see the notch right here and the tip's gone as an impact fracture because you can see the uh, 
flake it took down the front right there. Looks like it might have been a little Brewerton, Brewerton corner notch. Made out of red. I find a lot of red flakes here. Red and tan. When up there I found mostly green flakes and black. So explain that i don't know maybe different camps up here on the hill over time i guess but this i found anything from 9000 bc to 500 bc around here so it's multicultural site i'm going to keep right at it and hopefully pull something out whole not just brokes and I'll get back to you on my next find. Okay, it's been about probably an hour and a half, almost two hours since I found that last broken point, that first one. I got another broke, and that's a shame on this. You can see the notch right there. It looks like it would have been a, a sharpened down blunt point. Man, that would have been huge too. That would have been nice. But we're on the broke, so I got that right on the other side of that log where I got that Ashtabula the other day. But uh, I'm going to get right up in here. If I don't find anything, I might move back over there a little bit. Hey, the very same screen as that last broken point. I sifted it on down and got the mud out, and this popped out. It's a broken drill. It's all worked it's got a little tiny chip off the bottom there that would have came across like that but the the drill parts broken off it would have this skinny part would have expanded up maybe this high oh man I've never found a drill either that would have been nice to have whole but that stuff is you know that is so skinny up there it's gonna be a miracle for that to survive in this washing around in all this gravel here but that is still pretty kind of that pretty cool. Now here's a nice little faceted hematite stone that I just pulled out. I'm trying to find some sun so you can see that better. It's kind of triangular. Rubbed on every side. I've been digging right here in the water. There's a lot of concentrates right under here I can feel. Getting some flint. I'll dig here a couple more screens and then I'll, at the same level, I'll go over there where I found more points. See what I can come up with. All right, here's a nice one I just pulled out. Little uh, scraper, little end scraper right there. It's got a chip out of the side over here it's worked all up on the top edge decent little end scraper I'm back over here I sifted all that right through there around that log again and now I'm over here where I wasn't able to get before because the water was up high and I'm getting some concentrates in there so that's where I pulled this out so I'm gonna stick right here and then I'm gonna move over there Just digging right in there and found a deep stone, pulled it out. It's a nice little nutty stone. It's got a bunch of holes in the top, two big ones. And on the back, it's got a couple small ones started. I'll keep that one. It's not bad. It's got two nice holes in the top. It's a little worn, but still it's not bad. I'll set it up here. Well, the water, the water is, this is the lowest I've ever seen it right here. You can see where it was up on that log over there earlier. It's way down. And I'm finding some stuff. There's a lot of stone in here. But I'm running out of daylight, which, oh man, I, I can get a couple more screens at least. We're going to try. Okay, okay, we're going to do 
little wrap up again today water was super low I've never seen it this low but we just ran out of time and the Sun it's about to go over the hill so I wanted to get this in before the Sun went down so we can see we got our usual pile of flakes always get that we got uh, seven rubbed hematite stones today some of them not so great but this one was pretty nice here it's faceted all really nice all the way around and this one here which one was it maybe this one uh, I don't know you could really see the scratching on one of these but that's seven of those today got this flake blade I didn't show I just found it walking back to the uh, to get my backpack and it was laying out water washed it out where I was sifting got this uh, end scraper here worked around the top that would have been scraped like that not the best one I've seen better got this busted point you can see the notch in the side there but it's just like the bottom half but it's worked around the top so I'm going to say it was either a really sharpened down point or a little blunted point too bad on that and then we got this one our first one little broken point it's got half the base gone and an impact fracture you can see where it took that flake off the top when it hit something uh, we got this it's really heavy I have no idea it might be slate it's cupped out on the top and the bottom I can see abrasion marks where they've rubbed it I don't know if you can see that I don't know how close this will focus but it's been rubbed all here I don't know what that would have been why would they have rubbed that on the bottom but again just a shattered piece of something maybe a little paint pot not sure on that we got this nut, decent nutting stone here two nice holes it's kind of worn it's got a little some smaller holes on the top and a couple started on the back and I guess the find of the day or the find of the brokes would be this little drill it's got a little chip off the back that would have been identical to this side and the stem is busted off really small stem probably would have come up about that far another inch or so this would have been <clears throat> probably hafted in a, a stick or something and then either rolled it with the hands to drill or maybe on a bow drill too bad on that I've never found a drill before and the first one's got to be broken but that was our finds today found points but bad news they were all busted so I don't know when I'll be coming back down here again got to work this week and we'll do something again as soon as we can I still want to go out there and find that old dump uh, maybe I'll do that in the morning if it's not raining but until next time <laughs>